Alright, time to battle everybody. As you can see I recorded the deck tech yesterday and now we have the new patch with all the nice new upgrades. Also let me know uh, in the future I have the voices turned on this time, since they are new and appealing and everything. So let me know in the future if you find them like annoying or not, if you would like me to turn them off for the videos. Turning them down a little bit more. I mean, I get the volume I have them now, maybe they are fine. I already tried starting to record this, but then I had to disconnect for some reason and I had to start over again. Alright, so can I attack first? Which is why I'm not top 20 anymore. I was exactly 20 and then I dropped down one lo uh, due to losing. It's a bit annoying that we drew the seal like one turn too late. But once again, like there's a 50% chance the seal would have been a fire sigil anyway, which also doesn't play impending doom. So only in like 50% of the cases it actually screws us from playing impending doom here. Since instead of four diplomatic seal, this deck would play two fire and two shadow sigils. <laughs> Alright, let's do this first. Alright, there's our second shadow for next turn. And get in for four. A bit unfortunate we can't do anything this turn. Definitely sets us back. While being. Or like getting our instigator killed and hit back and stuff. Alright. Flame blast at our champion is definitely nothing terrible. It's not gonna get go at our face. And impending doom can potentially hold down the instigator. Alright, so guess we just go impending doom here. And then have like Countess and Alvaro's favor. Or whatever he might be up to. Basically, if he attacks here, I think I'm gonna respect the attack. Oh, he just obliterates it. Not looking too good. Definitely has his stuff is like definitely lining better up, uh, lining up better for him. <coughs> we are like falling more and more behind, even though we are on the play. All right, so <coughs> guess I'm gonna. Play this and then just like ping him so we can ultimate Pyronite next turn and end of turn Cable Countess to try and like get back into this. Like, I'm probably just gonna trade with the Countess here because otherwise we're just gonna die. That is very annoying. Puts us in an even worse position. But yeah, I mean, that's like what the mirror is like, it's kind of random to trade here, at least like attempt to trade. We succeed. And now our virus favor is gone. So we're just gonna lose to this. Alright. That was an unfortunate mirror match. Alright, let's battle some more. We are under play, and I think I like this hand. It's a bit clunky with the double obliterate, but we have instigator and quarry, so that helps. And also a torch early on to gain some momentum, defend ourselves. All right, Praxis tokens, most likely. Let's get our instigator out. Recently crafted my four shiny instigators, which is nice. Kind of would have hoped or expected to also get a premium sigil crafting with this patch, but apparently not. Oh, 
All right, we are back. I somehow got disconnected. Not sure if it was due to eternal or my internet. Like I didn't seem to be connected in any of my messengers, but it sort of seems like it is me and not the game. Not sure. Alright, we finally got to play our quarry. Didn't hit power. Sorry guys for the legginess. I really hope this uh, fixes itself. Don't know the source of it right now. What a nice scrap metal you sound. Like, scrap metal is gonna be so fun now. <laughs> like, even more than before. Alright. Get this out, attack if he blocks with just torch one and drop the pyronite. Nice. Three color. Alright, happy to take four here. Let's see if he has rally or something. If he rallies I'm gonna shoot one. But I prefer to like torch whatever he's playing next. So yeah, I guess I just tempo wise torch this. So we have power next turn. If we draw power, we can impending doom, which would be pretty good here. Yep, and there's the power for impending doom. That's nice. Alright. I was trying to figure out how to get out from under this, and once we draw a fifth power, he's going under. <coughs> Alright, power for obliterate would have been great, but it's fine this way, we just attack with the impending doom and drop champion of chaos, it's also decent. But we really need like the third fire for his overwhelm here and extra for the soul fire drake but like basically any undepleted power will do thanks to double obliterate that should just do it I uh, guess we just attack with everything the rapid shot and then like protect the most important one I kind of expected that block and probably gonna trade the scorpion against the champion not really Interesting. Yeah, I guess I'll do this because the champion, uh, the Titan, also threatens us a bunch. <coughs> now he's gonna like take four, go to five, and then like impending doom is gonna kill him next turn or obliterate. So I'm only sc scared of a rally because rally is gonna be like 10, 13, putting us to one. If he has one other way, no, he doesn't. Alright, so now we just need to draw power or removal for Titan. That is neither. That's unfortunate. Let's hope he doesn't have rally because otherwise we might be in trouble. But yeah, now you see why you should at least run like 30 power in this deck. We're sitting here with like 3 5 drops in our hand that could easily win us the game and we just can't play them and start falling behind and opponent starts turning aggression on us. Alright, so... I mean, we really can't attack still, unfortunately. So I guess we just pass. 
and hope we don't die, which is kind of unlikely at this point. Yep, especially to a cloud of ash. Alright. Got us. <coughs> yeah, I mean, no fifth power, no victory. Took too long. Very unfortunate. Alright, time for the third game. Alright, that's a great hand. We want the draw, we keep it. Only first because of four cry. Alright, gonna match that with our own. The sniper. Trade here, or attempt to trade at least. Like that's what you have to do in the mirror on the draw. Let's hope we draw a power so we can play our own. No, we didn't, but at least we get to play instigator to trade. So if he couldn't prevent the trade earlier, he maybe can't avoid it now either. But yeah, as you can see, there's like once again power issues. Maybe 30 is still not enough after all. Like the deck is, has so many powerful cards and is so powerful and has like these flame blasts and the five drops and paranite so that it just shouldn't be like so greedy and just kind of die like this so stupidly. Alright. Think best plan is probably to just start attacking here because I think he probably has some way of punishing us if he doesn't attack here and then next turn we can flame blast this and are kind of ahead in the race depending on what he does <coughs> maiden so he's more of a mid-range deck weird like Caleb's favor in mid-range is definitely weird and yeah I mean we're getting completely destroyed right now a nice start like 0-3 but then again, like, Burn Queen is bad against the Mon Raid Ranger version, that's kind of like how this naturally plays. I think we have to, like, Flame Blast this while we still can, against all the Cudgels. And then we basically have to hope to get deadly on this to trade here. And if we don't, we are in trouble. I guess I just play it first and hope to get there. No block yet. Alright, so Annihilate is not gonna help us. And Fire Influence is unfortunately the wrong influence. But I guess we just try to double block now. Which is awkward and very dangerous against a lot of cards he might have, but that's what you gotta do when you're otherwise dying. Jump blocking is not gonna make it any better for us. Oh, he doesn't have anything, that's great. So we actually get to buy ourselves some time. Trips. It'd be really impressive if we can turn this game around, but at this point I don't think so. It's like not very likely. That's sweet. So I guess we can force him to block. Do we? I think I kind of just wanna see if he has a removal or not. I think it's our, like our best try to force a block here. Now he has one turn to draw something that kills us. Wow! Wow! <laughs> that was so lucky. All right, crisis averted. We are oh, we are one and two, not oh three, in the first half of the series. Jeez, 
But yeah, so much screw. All the tooltips again, annoying. All right, that's it for the first half of the games. Not the best chart, but a lot of like randomness with mirror matches. I mean that happens, and some like power issues. All right, stay tuned for the second half of the games.